Joining us now, Officer Ernesto Rodriguez, Public Information Officer for the City of Miami Beach Police Department. And uh, welcome. Good to have you here. Good to be here with you guys. So we know this is always a huge draw. Miami Beach is the place to be on Memorial Day weekend. People come from all over the country for the nice weather to come party here. What's the storm going to do to the to the turnout and to the police operations on the beach? Well, I think we've already seen our, our first day of it really today. We've seen a little bit of an impact where we've seen fewer people out on the street, fewer people out on Ocean Drive. Saturday and Sunday, we have the second annual air and sea show that's going to be happening rain or shine so we encourage everyone to come out have a good time it's spectacular if you've never seen it and what kind of police presence can we expect to see on Miami Beach and what precautions are the police uh, taking uh, not to see repeats of some of the things we've seen in the past we've seen shootings uh, we've seen fights and things like that Absolutely. We learn each year how to better police, you know, a, such a large a group of people that come over to Miami Beach. You're going to see every Miami Beach police officer working out on the street. And we also bring our partners from other agencies like the Miami-Dade Police Department, like Miami Police Department. And we work closely with our local federal partners as well to ensure everyone has a good time. So for the people who are not living on the beach or staying on the beach, coming over the causeway, and for those who make their home on the beach, isn't it going to be a huge hardship for them to have traffic reduced on the causeway to one lane so those cameras can do their thing? We do that primarily for the safety aspect of it. And we actually throttle it down to one lane just at the entrance to Miami Beach. It's not all the way through because we need to have a safe space for officers to read each of those license plates that's coming in. That's not an all-day practice. It's each night beginning now at 7 p.m. and runs through about 7 a.m. tomorrow. So we try and communicate that out to the residents so they plan accordingly. And I, I think for the most part, everyone ensure, everyone re recognizes that it is for their safety. But now, it's a good thing to know about. Yeah, how, do, how, do, how does that work? Every single car that comes into Miami Beach during that time period, the license plate is, is red. How is that not Big Brother watching everybody coming to Miami Beach? Well, license plate readers is something we've been using for quite some time already. It's technology that we're trying to expand upon. We have it on the entrances on our causeways. Um, now for this weekend, we have our several of our police vehicles actually have them mounted on there. So we actually, what we do this weekend is the main entrances, the Julia Tuttle and the MacArthur Causeway. We ensure anyone coming in through those uh, entry points are actually red. And it's, it's again for their safety. They're looking for stolen vehicles, you know, dangerous criminals possibly. And that's what we're trying, that's the objective here, just to make sure everyone who's coming here is coming here for the right reasons. And we've seen attacks all over the country and the world involving vehicles uh, going into crowds and onto sidewalks. Miami Beach has barricades now, right, to prevent that kind of thing. We do. You're going to see, you're going to see uh, people type barricades along our streets, Washington Avenue, Collins Avenue. We've hardened some of our main uh, pedestrian walkways like Lincoln Road, like Española Way with concrete barriers. And just like we do any weekend of the year, we we work closely with those federal partners to ensure there's a lot of behind the scenes work that's going on to ensure everyone's here to have a good time. A lot of planning. Uh, yeah, with so many people <laughs> expected on Miami Beach, and again, the weather is a big if factor here. What advice do you have for folks who are heading to Miami Beach and just want to have a good time? Because that's what this is all about, is people coming to our community and enjoying themselves. And that's exactly what we want people to come. We're ready for it. We have the police presence. We have the firefighters. We have, you know, city sanitation crews out there to clean up after everyone. Come out, have a good time, uh, do so responsibly. And let's not forget what this weekend is. It's Memorial Day. It's to remember the brave men and women who gave their life for our, for our country. Good that's point. The focus. Uh, a lot of people forget that, I think. Um, is, are there any new challenges this year that you anticipate or that you're preparing for that maybe you haven't seen in years past? I don't know if any new challenges per se. Um, I'm sure things will pop up. We have a very professional police force. Our partners across the Bay are also very professional. Everyone will be ready to see to whatever challenges present themselves. I'm confident our officers will do a great job. Well, hopefully we'll keep those challenges to a minimum. Ernesto Rodriguez, thank you very much. My pleasure. Nice to Miami, see you. Miami Beach Police Department.